Good afternoon, I'm Greg. Uh, I'm at We Are Scouts Bar today uh, to um, present you the new menu based on caricatures of J.R. Scarf. Uh, I'm going to make for you um, a James Bond inspired cocktail called the Orbis Non Sufficit, which means the world is not enough. So, the idea behind the drink was to obviously create uh, a dry martini kind of drink, um, but we wanted to have a few different influences. The first ingredient we're going to use is actually Ford gin that you have right here. Okay, made in London using uh, different botanicals, among them jasmine, which is which give it a nice little floral element to the to the to the gin. The second one will be roots mastica, which is a Greek liqueur made um, close to Athens and actually a couple of hours outside of Athens. Uh, they're using the the sap of the mastic tree, which is kind of a pine um, um, that comes from uh, the southeast of. Um, of um, of Greece, sorry. We infuse that liqueur with some pink red fruit uh, skins for a couple of hours to give a nice zestiness to the cocktail. And to finish, we have in this barrel, we have some dry vermouth blend. So we blend our own vermouth and we age it for three months just after washing the barrel with some pistachio liqueur. So give it a nice nuttiness, nice tanginess to, uh, to the cocktail. So it's pretty easy. As I said, dry martini style, so it's normally 50 ml of the gin, 15 ml of the mastic infused with the finger and fruit, and 15 ml of um, the vermouth blend, which makes a total of 80 ml for one serve. Yeah. Set it down. Some people said that we should have shaken it because it was a. It could have been like a, a Vespa because he likes it. He likes his martini shaken, not spread. But we like to keep things a bit more central in here. You know? <laughs> the glass. And the cocktail is garnished with some homemade pickled walnuts. So we pickle some peeled walnuts in rice vinegar, maple syrup, rosemary, and a bit of salt and pepper. There you are. Orbis non sufficient. Cheers.